hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel with another useful and informative video so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to fix carplay not working or not connecting issue on your iphone so guys if you're facing this problem and you are unable to connect your carplay or you are unable to use your carplay here i will show you how can you fix it so guys for that you have to simply watch this video till the end so guys first of all go back to your home screen and now open settings on your device and then scroll it below and go to general then software update and update your software to the latest version so guys simply update your software and after this go back and now you have to simply restart your carplay or your iphone as well so guys simply restart the carplay of your car and then you have to simply restart your iphone for one time as well so guys simply restart both of these and after this you have to simply scroll it below and then you have to go to date and time and set your date and time as well again go back and tap on language and region tap on region and select your country or region correctly again go back and now tap on transfer reset iphone tap on reset and reset uh, network settings of your device for one time as well so guys do this and after this go back and now you have to go to carplay and again try to connect your carplay with your car so guys do this and check if the problem is fixed or not and if the problem is still there then you have to simply go back and now you have to simply go to screen time and wait here for some seconds and now you have to scroll it below and tap on content and privacy restrictions and turn off the toggle for content and privacy restrictions from here for one time so guys do this and after this force restart your device for one time as well so guys for that press and release the volume up button and then down and keep holding the power button until your device restarts so guys do this and check if the problem is fixed or not and if the problem is still there then you have to simply contact the apple support team for further information and help so guys hopefully they will try to fix this problem for you within 24 hours so guys that's it for today's video hope this video helps you please like and subscribe to my youtube channel as well thank you